As introduced in the previous essay, writer Henry James proposed the following checklist for tackling the very personal, equivocal, and essential question, is it art? One, what was the artist trying to achieve? Two, did he, she succeed? Three, was it worth it? Interestingly, these questions can be applied to an individual piece of art. Is Marcel Duchamp's 1917 photograph of a urinal considered art? A series, like My Hands Project, or decades of work, such as Bansky's graffiti? Answering the first question is tough, but at least the burden falls entirely on the artist. The second question is more challenging because now everyone gets to have an opinion. Viewers may love the artist's intention, but think the work is flawed for any number of perfectly valid reasons. One noteworthy flaw is when a project doesn't actually do what it says it's going to do. Case in point, my Mass Ave project claims to provide a glimpse of the endlessly interesting people and places of Mass Ave, but it doesn't do that and probably never will. For one thing, Massachusetts Avenue runs over 20 miles from South Boston to Lexington, Massachusetts, and the series consists of a handful of images, all shot in early 2012. That's a pretty paltry glimpse. Even worse, I now live in Santa Fe, New Mexico, so turning this into a successful project anytime soon is unlikely. So I'm stuck. I really should scrap the project, but I love the images. Four of them have won awards, one I sold, and this photo, Lonesome Notes, is one of my all-time favorites. What would Henry James do?